and welcome to video number six here in the Red Delta Project Isometrics video library. We're going to be using our World Fit ISO trainer to work our push chain, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Now, like a lot of the other chains, you can kind of jerry rig using things like martial arts belts and uh, yoga straps and stuff, but you're going to get a lot more force against a handle for these exercises. So you can play with a strap, but if you can, utilize something like a suspension trainer or even some gymnastics rings that gives you a comfortable handle you can push against because it's gonna make the exercises much more effective. Our first basic exercise is the good old fashioned chest press. And for this, we're going to run the strap underneath our shoulders right behind our back. It's not up high like this, we want it almost feeling like it's at the bottom of our shoulder blades for this setup. Also, you want those shoulder blades to be really close together. If you've got this kind of hunched up position where your shoulders are elevated and slightly protracted, it's gonna feel it all in the deltoids and almost nothing in your chest, which is also a good carryover lesson to push-ups and uh, dips as well. So we wanna almost feel like we're getting the shoulders down and back, sticking our chest up nice and high, setting up the length of the strap. So we got about a 90 degree bend in the elbow as always with isometrics. You can play around with the length of the limbs or the angles to see what works best for you. And we're going to just simply apply force gradually and make like we're trying to do a chest press. Play around with your handle position. Some people like a traditional bench press. I always liked neutral or even a slightly supinated grip can be a good way to go about it. And you can also try running the strap underneath. It's not one of my favorites, but some people like to have the strap under the arms. They feel like a little bit more stable. It always kind of felt a little awkward to me. You'll have the handles underneath the hands like this and driving. I don't know why, but this always feels like it's much more in the shoulders versus coming around like this is much more in the chest. Maybe it's because I'm squeezing in. But experiment, see what works best for you. It's very important with all of these exercises that you feel the muscle working. We don't wanna just assume the muscles are engaging the way we think they should. You wanna get that tactile feedback of, oh yeah, I feel it in my chest or I feel it in my triceps for all isometric training. Next, we have the standing shoulder press. And for this, we're gonna need a long strap. So you're gonna wanna adjust it with as much strap as you can get. This is where the ISO trainer really shines from World Fit because it's got plenty of strap. If you're using a really short strap, you can do this seated where you run the strap underneath your hips. But nonetheless, we're going to stand on the strap and we can micro adjust with how wide our feet are if we want to just kind of fine tune our position. Shoulders are back for this. The more your shoulders are back, the more stable this exercise is going to be. Again, if you're all hunched up and forward, it's gonna be really sensitive into your joints, particularly shoulder and elbow joints. We have elbows slightly in front. You can play around with going to the side, but I feel it's a little bit more comfortable coming forwards, hand position where you like, and height is also something you can play around with, but I always felt I get the most out of this if my handles are roughly eye level. And from there, we just drive up like we're doing a standard shoulder press, keeping your abs and your glutes engaged. Otherwise, you're gonna kinda start getting all this wonky types of angles with the body. Remember, all asymmetric exercises are full body exercises. We're just creating an emphasis in an area like the shoulders and triceps in this case, but we still want everything else engaged to provide stability and control. And then just gently release. And then finally, the third compound isometric exercise we can use is isometric dips. And this takes a little bit of creativity and jerry-rigging like we did with the isometric pull-ups from before, where we use the trainer around our waist, kind of like a dip belt, and we anchor it down with something, either attaching it to the dip station or machine itself, or you can even just have someone kind of stand on it because it's not gonna take a whole lot of force to be able to get a lot of resistance with this because most of the resistance, of course, is from your own body weight. But you're gonna set it up so that you're kind of halfway down in a dip position when you're pulling against or pushing against the strap and you're just holding the dip, pressing, driving with the shoulders, chest, triceps, and having a good angle 
forward in the torso. We don't necessarily need to be totally upright, and that's going to be a good way to get isometric dips to work your entire push chain. We can also get isometric versions of a lot of single joint classic bodybuilding exercises like tricep press downs. So we're gonna just run our straps over a high anchor point like a pull-up bar and bring our shoulders down and back, making like we're driving downwards. But remember, you wanna have a lot of tension in your back as well. So you wanna feel like you're kind of forcefully depressing your shoulder blades down to aid in this application of force. So I'm pushing down and using my triceps to push my hands against the handle. You can micro adjust the position of your hands by moving forwards and backwards to give you a little bit of some angle adjustment. And you can find that point where you're getting a lot of tension in the triceps. Be sure to not have your hands too wide or all these weird angles. You wanna try and pull or push down with as much direct force as possible. It's going in different angles that are not going directly against the straps is just gonna be wasted energy. Isometrics is also a very good way to directly target your shoulders. Because in the free weight world, when we're doing things like lateral raises and front raises, you're typically being forced to use dumbbells or cables or weights that increase in five pound increments. But these are relatively weak motions. So a lot of times in order to get the most resistance that you can handle, you need a really fine tuned amount of weight, like 13 pounds or 12 pounds to progress at whatever level you're at. But with isometrics, we're always dialed in to the perfect amount of resistance. So this gives you the ability to really target those shoulders with the appropriate amount of load. So we're gonna start off, we're standing on the strap. Again, the strap's under, uh, not so much my arches, but closer to my heel. And I'm gonna come out to the side like I'm doing lateral raises. This is one of those techniques that can be very hard on your joints. If you have your elbows locked out, even hyperextended, and hard on your shoulders if you're shrugging up. So we want to roll the shoulders down and back, really engaging our back for stability, and keep your elbows slightly kinked for this. It's gonna make it a little bit easier, but it's gonna provide a lot more stability right into your joints, so that way you're gonna feel it more in your muscles and not those sensitive tissues like ligaments and tendons and so on. We've got our lateral raise, just like I'm pulling up, this is also one where you don't want to just immediately like jerk with a lot of force. You want to have a very gentle ramp up of force. And I know you can't see it, but it's a very gradual application of force against the handles. And then we can go to the front. And I like to have this a little bit higher, just personal preference. Like I'm trying to lift upwards to the straight. It could be very beneficial to incorporate these with some of the other shoulder exercises I cover in the other videos, like your rear fly, your upright rows, to give yourself that full on overall shoulder exercise. And you can just alternate back and forth very easily here as well. So it doesn't need to be a long workout, just something you cover in a couple of minutes to really fry out your shoulders. Now the isometric chest fly can actually be a bit of a logistical challenge with equipment because you're trying to put inward force with your hands to create the adduction that works your chest so well. And it's a little tricky. Now, one thing you can do is to cross your handles and drive apart. But the straps on the ISO trainer are a little bit long. I'm kind of at the end of my range of motion. So the bow worker ISO bow is a good way to go about this because it's a lot shorter than this. But I've kind of jerry-rigged something a little bit different that may work better. So what I've done is I've wrapped the strap around the two vertical posts of this pull-up unit, but I've also done this around close trees or fence posts or even like a sturdy railing for a stairway. If you look around your environment, you may find something that's suitable, but this allows me to adjust my handles to different widths, and now I can make like I'm squeezing them together, and that's really lighting up my chest. Once again, keep the elbows a little kinked. We don't want to be up and hunched up because that's going to be all in the shoulders. We want to roll the shoulders back, down and back, squeezing the shoulder blades, chest is up, and I'm almost bringing my elbows in towards 
themselves. I'm not really thinking so much about bringing my hands closer, but my elbows, because your chest muscles, of course, attach to your humerus, not the more distal parts of your arm. So you're squeezing, and you can kind of shake out. I recommend keeping your hands on the handles because if I drop them, then it's a kind of a pain to set up all over again. So you just keep it tight, keep it set up, get a few sets, and then you, that's how you can get your chest flies. Be sure to check out some of the other videos here on how to work your pull chain, how to work your abs with isometrics, and I'm gonna be doing a revamped new video very shortly about how to effectively program isometric training for building muscle, building strength, or building endurance. So make sure you're subscribed down below so you get the notification and stuff when that video comes out and how to best use all of these exercises to help reach your fitness goals. Thank you very much for watching. Be fit and live free.